I'm Christina Loren, and I live for design, entertaining, and cooking. I live in sunny Malibu, California, right on the beach, right next to the best shopping in the world, best weather in the world. I absolutely love it. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. I love to help people, but I have to admit, I really do have the best taste. I'm Christina Loren, and I'm going to teach you how to be prepared for unexpected guests. The ultimate hostess with the mostest, my mom just called and she's down the street. She's going to pop in, and unfortunately, I don't have time to bake anything or cook anything to get the whole house smelling great. I'm going to do the next best thing. I have dried lavender, and I've been simmering water on the stove, and I'm adding some dried pieces with my hands and just removing the purple parts, the end pieces. I'm gonna put this back on the stove and the whole house will smell great for like three days after doing this. And the best part, you can do this with any of your fresh herbs or dried herbs. I used to think that you had to bake to make your whole house smell good, but now I know there's little shortcuts like boiling lavender. One of my mom's favorite drinks is iced tea. Who doesn't like iced tea? The way she likes it is with lemon. So I'm gonna cut some fresh lemon for her, right from my tree. I love fresh lemon with everything. I just can't get enough. So I chose a Meyer lemon tree to plant and it yields the best type of lemons, I swear. And there's always too many of them, so I have to share them with my friends. And it's the perfect hostess gift when I come and visit them. They just love it. And I'm cutting it vertical. And this makes longer pieces to garnish drinks perfectly. I'm using the same chopping board I used for the lavender, so my lemon will pick up some of the flavorings and infuse my iced tea also. Cooking may have skipped a generation in my house, but entertaining certainly didn't. I learned from the best, my mom. It's so important to have essentials in your kitchen. That way when a pop-up guest comes, you're prepared for anything. In this case, I prepared a gorgeous cheese spread and all it took was a few minutes. My favorite type of bread is a French baguette. You can do so much with it. I'm gonna toast this lightly in a pan with good olive oil and serve it with cheese. And I know my mom is gonna love it. Food doesn't need to look perfect. I prefer to cut my baguettes into uneven pieces. It gives it a more rustic feel. I'm gonna cut it on a slant and roast it in a pan. You just fluff out the bread if it starts collapsing on you. And I'm gonna toast this in a pan and serve it with cheese for my mom. You only wanna cook and bake with the best ingredients. It's essential to have great olive oil on hand. A pop-in guest is someone who is down the street and gives you about five minutes to prepare for them coming over. While my bread's toasting, I made this quick little platter with three different types of cheeses, some grapes for sweetness, and olives for a little bit of salt. I use cheddar, brie, and goat cheese. These flavors will go great with a toasted baguette, and I just know my mom is gonna love her lavender iced tea. Having good basics around is the key to any good recipe. So I always like to check both sides of the toasted baguette before putting it on the plate because Presentation is everything. It has to look good, and nobody wants an overdone piece or an underdone piece. You always put the better piece right in front. And I can't wait to have a glass of this delicious iced tea. I just know my mom is gonna love this. I wonder if she's gonna be able to taste the hint of lavender in it. My mom is always the life of the party. I hope that I'm half the host that she is. Sit down, have a seat. Thank you. 
And what's in your hand? Brought you a little gift. Oh, I love gifts. What is it? It's a nice little surprise. Open it up. Oh. You know I love my presents. Grandma's recipes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been eyeing these for such a long time. And how appropriate, I've made you some uh, snacks after your shopping trip. Oh, yeah. And here's some iced tea with lemon. Where did you learn all this? Oh, well. <laughs> I learned hosting from you and cooking from Grandma. Cheers. To fabulousness. Yum. Isn't that good? Yeah, it is really good. Just a squeeze of lemon. And can you taste the lavender? I was going to say, it tastes like there's a little bit of something in there. That's the lavender. My grandma's recipes were the perfect gift for me, and I'll definitely be putting those to use. There are certain essentials no home should be without, including my favorite dry champagne. You want a bottle of good champagne, a good red, and a good white wine for when company drops in unexpectedly. Also, if you have these basics, baguettes, brown and white sugar, good olive oil, you'll never be caught unprepared for anything.